It's a clever trick, that, isn't it? And mm -hmm. in a couple of minutes' time, I'm going to be able to do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, they've shot hoops with, the president, with President Obama. Their honorary teammates include Pope John Paul II and Nelson Mandela. Didn't know that. Yes, American basketball team, the Harlem Globetrotters, have been playing in unconventional games which focus on showmanship and tricks for almost 90 years. Now they're bringing their unique game over to this side of the pond. As you can see, we are joined by two of the members. We'll talk to them in a moment. First, though, let's see some of their moves on the court. Hey, man, who's that cat coming down the street? I don't know, but it sounds to me like that little man with the bottom. So, Slick Willie Shaw, Ariel Mighty Mitchell, both with us now. Slick, you see, he was doing it with two at the same time. You think you're clever. Time. Can you do it with two at the same time? That was me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you can do that. I'm so sorry. You don't have to prove anything in that case. I take it all back. Lovely to see you this morning. Like For those it. people who don't know about Harlem Globetrotters, what is, it you, what is it you bring to basketball that people won't see elsewhere? Well, the Harlem Globetrotters, we've been around for 87 long years, and we bring something to the game that's different than everybody else's. You get a chance to see great family fun and great basketball at the same time. We do a lot of interaction with our crowd, and we're going to give you something to remember for the rest of your life. Guaranteed. Okay. Uh, what do I call you? Do I call you Ariel? Do I call you Mighty? What do you uh, Mighty. Mighty. <laughs> right. Um, and how do you get your name? Do you choose your name or? Um, no, actually the Globe try to choose your name, but they choose your name. I'm Mighty because I have a mighty sweet jump shot. <laughs> ah. And tell me, I didn't realize until recently that there were female members of the yes. Harlem Globetrotters. I'd sort of assumed it was all male. No, actually we have three females. We have TNT and also Tea Time. Um, I'm the 11th female out of a total 87-year history of the Harlem Globetrotters. You're the what? The which one? The 11th female. The 11th female. Yes. And you play with we you play with the guys, do you? Yes, we do. Fantastic. Is that yes. entirely fair? Because I mean, looking at the size, there is a big difference, right? Oh <laughs> uh, yes, all our female players are great dribblers, so you know we get out there and put on a great show, mm -hmm. and so does our guys. And Slick, I, I yeah. was reading up about Harlem Globetrotters. Your tallest player was born in the UK, is that right? Yes, tiny. Tiny Sturgis, Tiny Paul Sturgis. And he was born in the UK. Yes. T tell us how tall he is. Tiny, seven, seven foot, eight inches tall. Right. He's actually the tallest professional athlete playing a professional sport now. We also have another teammate who is 5'3", and guess what his nickname is? Shorty. Too tall. <laughs> Too tall. <Okay. laughs> so you have these extraordinary discrepancies. A man who is seven feet, eight inches. Yes. That is incredible. Big guy. Does that bring, I mean, immediately I'm thinking, I don't know how tall you are. How, how tall are you, Steve? Well, I'm 6'6". Six, six. So is that kind of average basketball height? Yeah, really, you know, basketball really doesn't matter, you know, how tall you are. You know, t uh, my teammate, Mighty, she's 5'6", you know, she's an electrifying player. You know, you could be 5'3". As long as you work hard on your craft, you know, Harlem Globetrotters, we look for exceptional basketball players, good characters, and beautiful smiles such as this. <laughs> <laughs> and modesty. So too. you have those three things, you could be a Harlem Globetrotter. You know? And when did you first start playing for them? How did you get into it in the first place? Well, I've been playing for the Harlem Globetrotters for nine years. The best thing that happened to me um, is a beautiful experience. I get a chance to entertain people all over the world, give yeah. people something to remember for the rest of their life. And sometimes, is it, am I right in thinking you do audience participation, that the crowd sometimes gets involved? Yes, we always get our crowd involved. How, the do, kids. how does that happen? You, 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 you actually bring them out from the... 
from their seats, do you? It's yes. a surprise. You never know. We could mess with you. We might not. We could have you dance with us. We have a party. We have a great time, you know? So, therefore, everybody in Manchester, you got to come on out and see the world-famous <laughs> Harlem Globetrotter. We want to be in the U.K. Has... in March and April. <laughs> you know, he's a good salesman. <laughs> you know, the, one of the things about the, uh, basketball is, Can in this country, is, you probably know, <gasps> you know, it's not a huge sport, <laughs> but the Olympics brought it a lot more attention. Yes. Because, you know, it was here where a lot more people were watching it. Yes, definitely. Um, the, you know, like I said, the Harlem Globetrotters, we've been around for eight or seven years, so we try to integrate the game of basketball, open a lot of, a lot of, like you said before, you was telling me before we got on air, you know, it introduced you to the game of basketball. Well, when they, okay, in what the do 70s, you, what yeah. Exactly, that's so right. that's what we do. We, inter we introduce people to the game, the game of basketball, and uh, we're the, and the vendors of a lot of things in the game of basketball as well. Yes. See, now, in here, we don't have the height to have a hoop, but I think you've agreed to give us a few something. little... Show us oh, a we few have moves. a little. We, we want to treat you guys okay. something. Do, We're gonna move over there. On the way. Okay. 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 Do you want to just show us good. A, uh, bounce as we go over? How you? How you? A bounce. Do? Yeah. That's all right. Nicely done. <laughs> okay. I think you and I could do that. You so know. can we start with some basics? But oh, we what are we some, gonna do? We start with some basics with you. We start with you first. Okay. Okay. Where am I going? Over here. I'm here. Is that right? Go on then. Okay. This is what I want you to do first. Okay. I want you to go around the back between the legs. Now I want you to take the ball, I want you to go like this, I want you to wrap it around like this, I want you to snap it like this. <laughs> yeah, and between the okay. legs. Look, I've got a suit on, it's not easy. <laughs> there you go. All right. Uh, uh, over to you. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Do you see his hand come out there? Good Loose job. Turn. Okay, here you go. This is what I want you to do. I want you to put your finger up like this. Ow! Oh. <laughs> Making me nervous. Whoa. We make we make magic happen. Can I try that? I want to try, try again. That? You want to try that? Yeah, All right. Please. Need a good spin for you. Okay. Can I have a good spin? Other finger. Other finger. That one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Look at that. We make That's magic me. happen. What happens if you let go? <laughs> it goes. Right. As soon as you let go, <laughs> we lose it. Can you do a little something for us? Sure, sure. Go on, mighty. You want me to teach you a trick? Go on. Do a trick, Ariel. Just something quick. Hey, you show us something. You handle that thing. All right. Let's go. Here you go. Oh, oh I, you know what? <laughs> Here we go, pass it in. What's that? <laughs> Rolling it along the floor. I'll show you one more thing. Go on then. Charlie, you can tell we would never even get hold of the ball if we were actually playing a game, would we? Look at that. Beautiful. Thank you very much. I love watching this. How long before I could learn how to do that, do you think, really? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Watch this. But the Harlem Globetrotters will be in the UK. Oh. <laughs> the Harlem Globetrotters will be touring the UK. Late March, we're early April. Charlie. Late March, early April. Uh, we, replaced, we want guys. everybody to come on out and have a great so time. Thank you so much. All right, don't see. miss it. Thank the world famous much. Harlem Globetrotters. Well, we officially useless. Thank you very much <laughs> indeed for that. Uh, thank you very much for watching this morning. Breakfast is back tomorrow from 6 when we'll be looking at a big day of events for this year's Children in Need. Bye bye from everyone here. <laughs> bye. I still want to try again. <laughs>